Bunch of losers, I'll tell you. You are a loser. You really are a loser. Now get him out. Presidential candidate Donald Trump. In November, a Black Lives Matter protester at a Trump rally in Birmingham, Alabama, was kicked and punched by Trump supporters as Trump yelled, get him the hell out of here. Trump later defended his supporters, telling Fox News, quote, maybe the protester should have been roughed up because it was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> never paid any attention to anything that the people of your state and my state did or said in the past. They've called us rednecks. There sure are a lot of rednecks in this country. The tyranny that clanks its chains upon the South, in the name of the greatest people that have ever trod this earth, I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say segregation now segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. You told CNN, quote, Islam hates us. Did you mean all 1.6 billion Muslims? I mean a lot of them. I mean a lot of them. I will tell you, there's something going on that maybe you don't know about, and maybe a lot of other people don't know about, but there's tremendous hatred, and I will stick with the exactly what I said. The best thing I, I know to do is to let Dixie introduced George Wallace. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, the Honorable George C. Wallace! talking about the Constitution. We're talking about individualism. We're talking I have about met, rights and I have met with Mr. Trump on several occasions, and I can tell you from personal experience, if Donald Trump is elected president of the United States, we who are evangelical Christians are going to have a true friend in the White House. God bless Donald Trump. George Wallace was shot down this afternoon as he campaigned in Maryland, not far from Washington. As always seems to be the case with this kind of tragedy, there was no inkling of trouble. Governor Wallace had encountered heckling earlier in the day as he toured the Maryland suburbs of Washington, but the crowd at Laurel seemed receptive and friendly. Governor Wallace had just finished speaking and had taken off his coat, was shaking hands when four or five shots were fired, two of them recorded in this film by ABC News cameraman Charlie Jones. <laughs> Governor Wallace's wife, Cornelia, who was nearby when he was shot, bent over him. Later, she said he seemed to be conscious. The shooting took place so quickly and produced so much confusion that details are still not totally clear. One campaign worker, Jack Ingram, provides a description of the would-be assassin. Ingram said he was trying to shake hands with the governor when a man nearby kept shouting, Hey, George! Hey, George! Ingram said the man stuck a gun right in Governor Wallace's stomach and fired. Doctors say there were three major wounds in the leg, arm, and chest. After the shots, bystanders jumped on the attacker, as you saw, and three other people reportedly suffered gunshot wounds. I have to do it myself. I know it's not... But we have to 